Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Old World Blues, playing as New Vegas under Mr. House for now, but something tells me that this boomer, he's going to be going bye-bye. So now, now we're arming the chairman, also known as Benny's group that he's from before he came to New Vegas. Actually, they were known as the Boot Riders, and then they became the chairman when they came to New Vegas. With Mr. House, of course. So, because I want to do friends in high places, then we'll do the wrong package and then cracking the vault, maybe. Anyways, the chairman have been loyal to Benny ever since he took over the gang in the, that fateful knife fight all those years ago. Since then, he's never led them astray, and when he needs it, he can count on friends in high places. Also, we're justifying on the Mojave Raiders, in which we have about 15 days until we can go to war and take everything we need from them. Uh, let's take a quick look. How about resource-wise? What do they have for resources? Because why fight a war if you're not going to get anything out of it? Well, they've got some metal, and they've got some nothing. The Mojave chapter has quite a bit of stuff, and I like that, but I, I'm not strong enough to take them out. Now, I, someone has told me that I should consider taking out some of the tribes and maybe making a non-aggression pact with the NCR. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Now, who would I take out? Would I take out the White Legs? Because they're currently in a war right now. Or the Sky Reavers. Maybe the Sky Reavers sound like fun. They have quite a bit of supplies. Maybe the Sky Reavers. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll do that. Also, right now, I'm kind of thinking, you know what? We've got enough infantry divisions for now. I don't think I need to make really any more. Um, just because we don't have a lot of manpower. And I really want to use them for robots. And we might make some tanks in the end. Because I've actually never made tanks in this game. In this mod. So, we'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. Primitive Radio. 148 days, eh, that's okay. Land Doctrine's going well. Specialized Doctrine's not going great, I guess. Um, infantry, what, can I do anything for robots yet? Yes, I can. More reliability. That would be pretty good. More hardness. I like it hard. Ah, there we go. For, war for Route 95. Don't think we really need to call in our allies. I don't think they can really pierce us. Nope, we got strip security, and I love it. We really have to keep an eye on our energy cell usage. Right now, we're producing some more civilian factories, as well as some military factories. We finished public projects, as well as crop rotations. Glorious. We'll do standardized tools. And then... Ooh, this would be... Recycling is pretty good for us to do. Oh, I love monthly bonus, but 60 days. I love the 60-day stuff. Losses so far at 0 versus 75. Not bad, not bad. I assume maybe we'll lose maybe five manpower, five casualties, five divisions. No, oh god, I hope not five divisions. We've lost one so far. Not bad, not bad. Definitely giving giving our Securitron AI a little bit more XP. He's level three. I could replace him with this Hutchinson robot, but just because he is politically, or he's an old guard, he's not politically connected. But he's an old guard, which hurts his XP levels, but he's already level 3, and Hutchinson is only level 1. I think I might wait on that. Cool. Let you guys, uh, metalworking. Very nice, very nice. Let you guys come over here. I don't know if they're still connected. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I've got 17 days worth of stuff left. Vehicles. We want to get to the Great War tank. It's going to take some time. So we need to get down here. Vehicle speed goes up. And you know what? What is the Sky Reavers like? They got quite a few divisions, but we have enough robots to probably hold on against them. What if we were to justify a war goal on them? Now, I did say we might take out Hopeville and Asheville, which I do want to do. Trust me, we are going to go to war with them eventually. But for now, what if we did that? I had you guys come this way, and I had half you guys just take out the rest of these halt tree people. Very nice. We've lost one still. About 500 were just killed. Okay, we got 500. Wow. Thank you. I'll take your factories. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nipton will be ours. Uh, yep. Go ahead and help them out. Thank you very much for playing Mojave Raiders. Raiders. Oh, now I have a border with the Legion. Hmm. Now, I've been told not to use Mr. Gutsy and use Protectrons instead, but I don't really think that's any better. If anything, Protectrons are worse than Mr. Gutsy's. Um... 80% reliability for the Gutsies. Protectron's only at 75%. They only have 15 armor and 10 piercing, while Mr. Gutsies have 20 armor and 12 piercing. So, 
I think we'll keep that for now. Keep doing this. Khazar's Legion declared war on two sons. Now, we did open up a border between us and Khazar's Legion. Whatever. You know, whatever. Uh, we just need more Mr. Gutsies. We need more electricity, too. And that'll come if we... Oh, if I do this... We lose that one factory that we need. But go ahead and repair all this stuff. That'll be good to do first. Um, good, 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 good. We're still getting a little bit more army XP. You guys have done a great job. I'm going to put my soldiers right there. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wait. I should maybe not have done that so fast. Maybe. I should have waited and for my political power to get so I can get up to a limited conscription. That might have been better. Oh, well, it's done. It's done. Also, I might have cut this episode a little bit short. I'm actually today very busy, and I have homework due at midnight. So, things are like that. And this coffee I made, very, very hot. Very, very hot. Now we have five army XP. We have infantry divisions. I could make them a little bit better with some dynamite. And I totally will. Uh, I definitely want chem companies. I need a lot more army XP. Ah, and listen, Chairman, despite the fact that recruiting from the Chairman would draw suspicion, Benny felt like the only people he could trust were his former tribesmen. They'd been there to watch Benny murder Bingo and claim rulership, and they would be there to watch him do the same to House. Oh, Swank becomes a unit leader. Interesting. Firearm weaponry tech. Four Chairman squads. Awesome. That's actually pretty cool. And how are these divisions like? They're just normal divisions, except they got fire team support. Awesome. Just throw them on here. And you guys can stop training. There's really no point for you to keep doing that for now. Now that we have that, we could maybe do a wrong package. Let's see. Control by New Vegas. I want to make sure that everything we do is be okay. Oh, Benny's New Deal. That would be pretty good for us. We need construction speed. But I want to get rid of Mr. House as soon as possible. So we have the wrong package. Rumor has it a courier is moving something big on behalf of Mr. House, or at least... That's what Benny's been telling his people. And he's also made it clear that he doesn't intend to let that package reach Monsieur House. Interesting. I wonder what could be in the package. Hmm. Iron Alliance declared war on the Yampa. I thought they were already at war with Yinta. Yinta? Yinta. Ah, refined construction. I love refined construction. More armor and more hardness. Let us get combat simulations for more soft attack, hard attack, planning speed, and max planning. Now, I... I have to get limited conscription, so I'm probably going to save my political power for the most part, even though I would like Gordon here. Gordon's pretty good. I like Mr. New Vegas as well. Uh, he would be great to have as well. Um, obviously, this would be pretty good to do as well, but just manpower is going to be a major problem for us. So I've got to save up my army XP, but I don't mind doing this, maybe. I need more manpower than 50, okay. Expel the Rift Raff. I want to do that too, but the White Legs are getting kind of big. Kind of big. 17 divisions. Well, if I'm only using robots against these guys, probably won't be too much of a problem. 105 days for irrigation. That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, expelling the Rift Raff. That's 100. How many more days do we have until we can go to war with the Sky Reavers? That's about 80 days. In 80 days, can I make that much more political power? Probably. Uh, but I lose daily political power gain. Screw it, we'll do it for now. That'll be fine for me. We have still 75, and it takes like another 80 days, so. Ah, that coffee. Nice and hot. Even though it, where I was, where I'm living, it's snowing here. It's been lightly snowing all day. Pretty cold, so hot coffee's a pretty good idea. Um, anything else? Just our manpower... Oh, two sons was annexed. We've only got 47, almost 48,000 eligible core population. Just really not a lot of population here. Nipton. If, in the end, I might stack a few things here for Nipton. Just because you never know what's um, going to happen with Kaisar's Legion. They might not like New Vegas. And in the meantime, can we get a non-aggression pact? No, we cannot. They have a base reluctance, and they don't have a great opinion of us because we generated a little bit of world attention, even though new, the NCR also went to war with two people. So I don't know what your problem is, but if you're struggling, that's okay with me. Honestly, if Kaiser goes to war with the NCR and the NCR goes to war with Legion, I hope the NCR wins. I really hope they win because me fighting the Legion, it's possible. I'm sure I can beat the Legion, but it's going to be a little difficult. But regardless, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, how many more days we got? We got about 
five more days. Ain't that a kick in the head? And we got a lot of things, a lot of days still going on. Not bad, not bad. We have a lot of elite support, though. That's pretty nice. Due to the Joker. Awesome. So, ain't that a kick in the head? Yes, man gave Benny all the information he needed. The courier would pass through Good Springs on their way to Vegas. They waited for the quarry, impatiently eager to get the deed over with, until they finally arrived. It wasn't a fancy affair. The courier was jumped tied up and dug a shallow grave while they were still breathing. Uh-oh. Maybe some of the men with Benny had an issue with his methods, methods or maybe they didn't. Only the courier, uh, Benny, and his men will ever know. Time to cash out, Benny said as he dropped his cigarette, turning to face his victim. He slipped his hand inside his suit pocket, removing the platinum chip and flashing it to the courier. You've made your last deliver, kid. Concealing the chip back inside his suit, he removed an engraved pistol in its place. Sorry he got twisted up in this scene. He stared the courier in the eyes as he spoke, his victim distracted by the weapon at his side. From where you're kneeling, it must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. He raised his pistol up, pistol up at the courier's forehead. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Awesome. So we division organization goes down by 50%, but... Ooh, stable OS with platinum OS. Platinum! Cracking the vault. So, yeah, I mean, I this would be very good to do now. Actually, it would be better to be doing now than later. But I'm, I want to get rid of Mr. House. Crack in the vault. It's time to crack open Mr. House's secret weapon. A vault full of military-grade robots that will enshrine Benny as a true power in the Mojave. All that he's got to do is find a way to get to it, but that shouldn't be too hard. After all, even the Legion won't turn away a trade caravan. Ooh. Maybe I'll play two sides at the same time. If I can play with the NCR and play with the Kaiser's Legion, maybe we can make a deal work out. That sounds like a good idea to me, at least. Just don't go to war with me, NCR. I, I can't afford that. Alright, how many more days we got? About 42, 41-ish. Yeah, we might need to make some saws since we have some people that could use them. That'd be good. You know what? Get it right under there. And we have some Securetron divisions. Nice. Specialized alloys and more hardness. I love it hard. Protectrons. That's ah, a little bit ahead of time. Yeah. This... Actually, compared to Mr. Gutsy's that we're using, so the one we're using is on the right. They're still better in hardness. Same heart attack, same armor, same this. They cost slightly more to make Mr. Gutsy's. They use double the cell usage. Same piercing, less speed, same soft attack, and same breakthrough. Honestly, from what it looks like, pro police protectrons seem a little better than Mr. Gutsy's because they use less um, resources. Which actually... Hmm... I do want to use Securitrons, though. Securitrons are kind of important, but those are heavy robots. And they need um, more organization on those divisions to even really use them. So, always good to keep that in mind. 127 days, that's not bad. Basic lasers, more defense, all infantry, and we might as well do that. Very good. Very good, very good. Uh, where are the cons up to? Since we are now their ally, new, new lands... Con culture doesn't help them. They got 18 divisions. That's nice. So what are they up to? Reinforce the patriarchy. New lands. War support. Political power. Invade the Grand Canyon. Push for Zion. Oh no. Allying with them might have been a big mistake. Advance on High Chapel. Alright. So they want to expand. Which I'm fine with. I don't really care. As long as they don't try to kill me. I might be unhappy because I actually want to kill them. But whatever. Make them slaves. Backstab the white legs, new con members, con initiation, enslave the survivors, fate of the survivors. Well, it'll be interesting to see what the cons do. Usually I see them just die off fairly early in my playthroughs, or they they don't ever do very much. But we'll see what happens. Let's see, what other wars? Yampa is not having a good time. The Iron Alliance is becoming more intellectual. Okay. Uh, Sterling's Ambitions number two. Good manpower for a couple divisions. Reckless aggression. This is the Iron Alliance country. Mormon forgiveness, the road to the west. You're going to doing loaded raiders. Wow. Are they going to focus on Kaiser's Legion or constructing a third floor? That'll be interesting to see. Maybe I should play a campaign as the Iron Alliance sometime. But in the meantime... It is time to go to war with the Sky Reavers. And now I have to call in my allies to do this. Because I don't have access to their lands. Um, guys, 
there's a reason why I'm not pushing. There's definitely a reason why I'm not pushing. I want them to attack me first. And this is going to kill off the Khan's manpower, which is not good. I don't like this. I really don't. Take half of you guys. Help them push for now. But I really don't like that you've decided to attack for me. Besides, I'm taking all this territory anyways. So I'm not giving you any of this cons. You got your own stuff. You can go to the Grand Tribes. You can go to Zion. You can go to White Legs. Um, cracking the vault. Mr. House never spoke about the vault directly, but he kept his cards close to his chest and revealed as little as possible. Only with the Yes Man's assistance was Benny able to undercover or uncover the truth behind the platinum chip. The reason he killed the courier for it. Now all the work that went to betraying House would come to fruition. Benny would get his army. Foul business. Beautiful. Awesome. And now all in. They say Mr. House had the game rigged from the start, but little did they know that the player was cheating. Benny had a wild card up his sleeve the entire time, and it's time for House to pay out the pot. All of New Vegas, baby. So we get rid of the robotics genius. Ah. Uh, robotics genius. So we... Basically, we, it takes more time for us to produce the same number of robots. Foul business. Kaisar's Legion was widely regarded as one of the safest and most profitable parts of the wasteland to trade in. And I'm going to go ahead and take this. Caravans often make their way throughout Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado completely free of raider interference. As such, many traders don't even bring bodyguards knowing that the Legion itself guarantees their safety via its existence. The only caveat in this enticing business deal is that the Legion doesn't allow the sale of drugs or advanced medicine in their land, among other things. But this has made them unpopular with many traders in the Mojave. But today signifies... The first major trade deal signed off by the three families. A large caravan compromising of traders and numerous bodyguards will stop off at the fort briefly before continuing on their way through the Legion. The pretense for the guards is that the caravan plans to eventually leave Legion lands, but the truth is much more sinister. Ever seen a 12.7 SMG Legionary? Legionary? The Trojan Horse! Oh, baby, what is this? Awesome! The ho Fort erupted into chaos as the bodyguards and caravanners pulled their guns on the legionaries. The recruits that had been assigned to keep an eye on the caravan were torn to shreds in mere moments. The well-armed group mowing down the men around them in a spray of blood and gore. The setting sun cast a ghastly orange shade across the scene as reinforcements appeared across the ridge, the spilled blood filling their v tribal veins with a savagery few lived, though. Through. As the ranks began to fill out with Decanus and Centurions, the caravanners looked to Benny for advice, only to find him missing. Perhaps one or two glimpsed his figure at the top of the hill, briefly looking down at them, before slithered over the ridge and into the camp proper. His promise of a small legion force had been a lie. His declaration that these castoffs would be allowed back into the families was hollow. Distant machinery screamed to life. An army mobilized beneath the legion's feet, and Benny was already halfway across the dam. Pulling out his lighter, the snake had a celebratory smoke as he listened to the sound of gunfire slowly dwindle to silence. Ten Mark II secure front divisions will be created. Combat uh, robot... Production cost goes down by 20%. Conversion speed bonus goes down by 10%. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. Oh my goodness. Mark twos, yes. Beautiful. Genius. Ten. Ten of these bad boys. Um, just in case the Legion doesn't like me, I'm going to stack, stack them all right there. And we also have Swank here. He's an urban assault specialist. There's no other way they can come to me. Maybe unless they navel invade me, but I really doubt they'll do that. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But ten more divisions? Holy cow! That's amazing, Benny. Oh, I might as well put you under him. And these divisions are still 15... Oh, wait, you're only Securitrons. Oh! That's not bad. They use quite a few supply. Armor isn't great. Yeah, the armor is really lacking. But other than that, maybe I should switch my, hmm, division output to something else. Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm just going to let my guys, wait, why are you, you shouldn't be, like, even moving, oh, you mean you should be moving, but you shouldn't be attacking or anything like that. Just kind of hold still. If the cons want to kill their own manpower off, so be it. We've lost nobody yet. They've lost 125 people. So, really, no worries, and we're going to get more manpower over time anyways. Um... Really? I... We're, we need 19 a day? Why? We're not even moving. Oh, wait. You guys are moving. Probably. Probably. Still getting more... 
Stability, I hope. Well, maybe not. All in. Nope, we're not getting any more stability. That sucks. Just, I wanted to just kind of hold the line for a while. And just see what happens. Let them attack us. Let them attack us. I mean, there's no point in getting killed for no reason. Ah, oh, gotta love coffee, man. Got to love it. All in. Um, yeah, the cons are definitely doing a number on them. Not sure why my daily gain is six. Consumption is zero. Hmm. What is my output? I can afford one more factory for now. But instead of the four too much, I'm going to build one of these bad boys. Give me one of these bad boys. Yeah, there you go. The force can wait. I definitely want to build another one of these things. That's going to be pretty important for us. Yeah. Um, at least I've got some pretty good allies. At least they want to help out, kind of. I, I don't have the manpower, so I'm just kind of kind of sitting here. Um, NCR. How about we improve relations? Oh, wait, we can't. We have different ideology groups. The cost to improve relations is higher. You can only improve relations through events, decisions, or focuses. Um, that sucks. I can't get a non-aggression pact with them now. Yeah, I don't think the Legion, no matter what they do, I doubt they can really push over the river into Nipton against 10 Mark II Securitron divisions. Of course, then again, I am out of energy cells. So there's a chance, I guess. I just don't want to advance because I have no energy cells and stuff like that. Focus on the internal sphere. Mobilize the people. I could use more war support, but that just gets rid of all my war support. Combat simulations, very nice, very nice. And waste on autonomy. That's not bad. More organization, more hardness, recovery rate, less supply used for our robots. Direct control gives you less defense, more soft attack, more hard attack. It gives you even further less defense, but more soft attack, more hard attack. Def the army gets less breakthrough and more defense. And here, you robots just get more breakthrough, soft attack, hard attack. Um... You can produce more, you get more organization, and you get less supply use. And supply use, in my opinion, is going to be very key, because a lot of places that we fight using robots are not going to be very good whatsoever. And even though we get literally no breakthrough, we already have pretty good breakthrough. I don't want to lose any more defense. Yeah, you can get more attack and stuff. And last time, over here, you get a total of... Plus 10% more breakthrough. That's not a lot more. You know what? Last time we chose direct control. Let's try something else. Let's try wasteland autonomy. Let's try that. Because I didn't choose that one last time. I, when I played with robots. The Nevada Pact. Let's see. Form an empire in a few years. Just stick to with to the fat cats and NCR barbarians out of Arizona's way. Ooh. Bright lights. Vegas belongs to the chairman. More importantly, it belongs to Benny, who's taken up Mr. House's place as ruler and leader of the general area. With all House's resources at hand and more money than he could ever dream of, Benny is set for life. This is really good. Get rid of potential coup. Oh, look at that man. Beautiful. Backstabber. More uh, play political power. We get rid of potential coup. We lose a little bit of daily XP, but that's not bad. Ring a ding ding. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> That's such a weird meme. Um, uh, you know what? I'll try it once. Heavy robots. You're not actually even fighting. I mean, I'm kind of waiting for the cons to get rid of their own manpower. Okay, they declare war on those people. Oh, we changed our flag. Okay, interesting. Hardware, military hardware, good. I'll get police prot protectrons. That'd be pretty good to do. Nice, nice. We need more resources. We really, really need more resources. We need more manpower. We need stuff all like that. Uh, I, uh, I don't want to do a general push either. It's happy twenty-two eighty. No, twenty-two seventy-eight, my friends. We need some more of that. What are we currently producing? We're producing. This is taking a while. Go ahead and do that, because I just need more energy cells. The cons aren't necessarily winning. The manpower, what is this? 400, uh, they still lost about roughly double than the cons, which is 
and they're still pushing, so I do have to commend the cons for doing a good job so far. Even though I've really not gotten that much XP, but whatever. But whatever. Uh, we're not suffering from attrition either. Even though we have trouble building stuff, but whatever. That's fine. There's really not much I can do. Actually, do we have an advisor for resources? Yes, we can, but I didn't do the Omertas. Um... All right, all right. We can do more stuff here, but let's go to over here. Backyard workshops will be pretty important, and then get more resource efficiency gain. That'll be very, very important to do as well. Yeah, keep building that stuff. That's good. If you guys are gonna win, let's take the the division that doesn't take nearly as much supply. The light robots, good, good. Get that robot in there. We're defending a little bit. Maybe getting just slightly some XP. Finish off our coffee. And, God, the cons are a very, very aggressive group of people. Very, very aggressive. Almost, in my opinion, maybe a little bit too aggressive. But as long as they want to do my bidding and I take all the land in the end, I'm kind of okay with it. I probably couldn't take out the Mojave Brotherhood, though. They don't have a lot of manpower, but they still have better armor than me. I don't have nearly as much energy cells, even though they have a lot of resources down here. I love their resources so much. Yeah, even using these guys, they only have 18.9 armor. That still probably wouldn't be enough. Yeah, daily gain 6 isn't very good. Yeah, this is probably, besides manpower, energy cells, I just don't have enough energy. Even though I have traded away a couple factories for more energy. I don't want to do this, but I think I have to. Energy cells, good. Getting better. We need more circuitry. Yep, that's circuitry. If you're going to win here, you might as well try to help out. Ring a ding-a-ding-ding. -ding -ding. Beautiful. Look at that stability. Even better now. So, the Nevada Pact. Uh, is that really worth it? Scattered... Dozens of small city-states throughout Nevada, between Vegas, Reno, and Vault City, could form an empire in just a few years. Um, we'll think about that. Family compensation, consumer goods, um, private armies, aligning the families, that's pretty good. The checkered devil, oh yeah, more uh, recruitable population. Let's do Benny's New Deal. The chairman of the most profitable casino on the Strip, and wealth like that lets them throw a lot of weight around when it comes time for the families to decide what nobody business is getting amount of caps that trickled down from the Strips. This... Description isn't very grammatically clear, but regardless, it doesn't matter. Uh, get some more soft attack on these bad boys. Yeah, just let them do that a little bit. We'll get just a tiny, tiny amount of army XP. Uh, the losses are starting to pile up for the cons, though. That's not good. But I don't care. Uh, I just don't have enough resources. That's a problem playing as New Vegas. You don't got enough resources, but hopefully Benny will help figure that one out. Actually, uh, I can't go with War Economy. Ooh! The Iron Alliance, that is disgusting. What the heck? You couldn't just, like, give this to the Iron Alliance and then Yampa or whoever Yinta took that from them? Guys, that's disgusting. Disgusting. Mm, Army XP game, plus 10% combat robots would attack better, more entrenchment, hardness. These are all great things. Really good stuff. Ooh, export. Ooh, baby. Going to limited exports might actually be the better deal here. Just because we get more of our own resources back. Or we can get more stability and war support. Uh, you know what? Just do that. That'd be fine. Nice. Very good. We're doing better on resources. Oh, we might actually have a few energy cells. We get 126 instead of just 6 now. That means I can, might be able to end this war a little bit faster, and I should have justified on someone else. Um, past this, we might attack the Grabber territory, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. I don't think... It doesn't seem like I have enough resources. Go ahead and attack like crazy, though. Let's get this war over with. And there goes my energy cell capacity. Now become a little bit more careful. If anything, if I take out the white legs... Uh, Alright, they declared war down there. How long would that take to get rid of these guys? Because that could give us a lot of land, a lot of territory to work on. And we probably end up in a war with the Mormons or something like that. And that sounds like fun. War with Mormons? Sounds like a great time. Yeah, you guys just don't have enough energy cells. Um, we could cut off this direction. 
go ahead and stop when you're done with this battle and that battle and a couple other battles. We lost none. They've lost that much. Sky Reavers are almost done though, which is kind of good. Pretty good. Um, go ahead and help them out over here. Push them out this way. We took Area 51. We stormed Area 51, even though in real life we couldn't, we weren't able to do that because reasons. Because <sighs> no one wanted to get shot for real. Typical. Uh, we have some resistance. 96% of the way there. Let's go ahead and finish him. Good. Go ham. Go nuts, perhaps. Maybe that's a better saying. Go nuts. Ah, uh, another division. More robots. Yeah, I might just make secure drone robots. See, these light robots that I'm currently making, their stats aren't very good. I need more, ro I need more manpower, of course. But over here, that's not bad. Heart attacks, okay. Defense breakthroughs, 55. They're, they're, they're be good, pretty good armor, 21. But 55 breakthrough compared to these, that's a baby. Yeah, maybe. You know what? These are okay. But I really like these bad boys. Get rid of that. These are the bad boys that I probably want to make a lot of. Oh, Benny's new deal. Very good. I'll end the episode, of course, soon. Soon enough. Um, if we have another factory, we're going to need dynamite for that stuff. We're going to need more triplane attackers. Do that. And a lot more protectrons like that. Good. And we'll do the Nevada pack in the next episode. We'll do the Ultra Lux. It's an establishment of incredible refinement that delicately conceals its operators' more questionable tendencies. There are none who can contest the idea that it's the classiest place on the strip. And we get a whole uh, thingamabob. Oh yeah, you guys need to stop attacking like that. Yeah, you guys can hold. I don't want too many losses. If you guys could take this area, that would be for the best. But you probably won't. Can you come down that way? Because encirclements are key here. Ooh, place protectrons. Very nice. Heavy lifter. Even though I probably don't even need to do that. We have police protectrons number two. Um, Mr. Gutsies. If I did that. Support robots, good. I think that'd, that'd be better. Simple circuitry, alright. Resources, I, I really, 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 really need more resources. Resource efficiency gains, we get more energy cells. Because 20 energy is not enough. Oh, we're going to fight tooth and nail for this, aren't we? That's fine with me. Take these guys out. They don't have enough manpower, it seems like. We've lost about 64 guys. That's not good. 64 guys is a lot of guys. No, you... Dang it. Whatever. Just push that way. You guys should be able to do okay. Just go ahead and just crush them. I could give you this. Like, we just need to, like, take one more tile or something. That's all we pretty much need. 98% of the way there. 98. I only have two more factories left. Did it change yet? No, 98%. We have backyard workshops. Great. We're going to go ahead and do... Ramen farming. Refine tools. Refine the more refined things in life. Such as tools. That's a lot of divisions over there. If we could take Area 6, that would be very delightful. Go ahead and just try to get into Area 6. That's what we need. It's exactly what we need. I don't care what happens. We need to get in there, get in there, take it. Oh, wait, you stopped. Yeah, that's just what we need, guys. Come on. You guys can stop attacking as a whole. Um, yeah, stop attacking. You're crazy. You're nuts. You're crazy. Good. Um, you guys can probably hold. We don't need to waste that much more uh, equipment and stuff like that. Come on. Uh, maybe these light robots aren't really worth it, but they're good to have for now. They can't pierce us, which is good, so. Let everyone get a little bit more reorganized. I definitely need more heavy and support robots. Manpower is coming on very, very slowly. Very slowly. But even then, even if we get a little bit more manpower, it's still not a lot. Come on. Come on, cons. I need you to take a little bit more territory. You've done so well so far. I only need, like, literally, like, a tile. Is that it? No, it's not it yet. Oh, that's disappointing. 
Push M in. Good. Looking better. You come here. You take a break. Standardized blueprints. Very nice. Now we'll get a little bit more organization. Very good. Very good. Ah, the Ultra Lux. And a flamethrower add-on. Nice. The White Glove Society has come a long way from their traditional cannibal roots. With fancy masks and jazzy suits, they hope to make people forget what they once were by simply becoming something else entirely. And now we get Major E, which is a great, great advisor. More reliability? Thank you very much. Go ahead. Just kill them off. Come on. Oh, there goes the foragers. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, and the big brain is ha still having troubles. They're almost a new Reno. But interesting. Very interesting. Come on. How much longer is this going to take? There are only six divisions, and they can kind of pierce us. At least one of the divisions can. Good. Get them out of there. Yes, we are out of energy cells. It would be better if I actually had energy cells, but they're out of manpower. We kind of are, but we got 41 guys in the reserve. You know, 41 guys is pretty good. For now, they've lost 3,000 men. I've lost 165. That's a lot of guys. Uh, but I definitely want to get Major in here. Maybe get Mr. New Vegas eventually. I might swap out Benny. Maybe. See what happens. Alright, seriously, come on. Put more pressure on him. There's only five divisions there. Oh, I still can't go that direction yet. Good. Oh, they're starting to crumble. They added more divisions, but it's not going to be very good for them. Come on. This territory better be worth it. I forgot. I needed to justify on somebody else. How many divisions do the White Legs have? 20. I have 16. And can I defend this entire border? Maybe. We're going to experiment with that next time. In 145 days. Oh, my friends down in the Mojave chapter. I ask you for stuff, and you can't give it to me. Give me that stuff. Good, good, good. Uh, keep building. Build, 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 build. And, of course, we're going to need a little bit more of that stuff. Very good. I will build some more infrastructure. That's definitely extremely important. So build it right there. Uh, I will build all this up in the end. Yeah, this episode's going definitely longer than I expected, just because they won't die. They just won't die. They won't just, like, give up. They don't have any more manpower. They're literally fighting the last man. They won't give up Area 6. I understand. Area 6 must have been government property. And government property is always fun to get into. But you might never leave because they might shoot you on sight once they find you. Come on. Give it a little more gas. And by gas, I mean force attack. Oh, we got one more manpower. Okay. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. Oh, don't throw another division. No, no, no. No, no, no. 95, 96, 97, 8. They threw... God dang it! We're exterminating everyone that marches by. They're, I mean, they're literally fighting to the last man. I mean, that makes perfect sense for them to do that. Uh, you help them out up here. Help them push. Push them out of the way. Uh, I mean, Jesus Christ, that's ridiculous. Take this tile. Give them another force attack. Crush these soldiers. This way, they have even more holes in their line because they have less manpower, less equipment, and stuff like that. Alright, come on. Someone's got to give. They're, we're attacking in three different locations here. Someone is going to have to give very soon. I want to say the center line, but we've experienced that this line refuses to give up. Just keep attacking. I don't care what it takes. Just annihilate them. And, like, see? It went back down. We had 99, and then they went back down. You guys cannot pierce us. Very good. Desert Pass. This is coming along. This is not coming along too well. The White Glove Society... Very good. And then we will do um, top thugs. The tops can feel some flashy, ritzy fighters, the sort of cats that nobody wants to tangle with unless some things are getting desperate. So which means now we can get her. Nice. One and a half political power a day is very, very nice. Yeah, this is ridiculous. They threw in all their divisions once again. Come on, man. That's not fair. I'm going to keep doing force attacks. Oh, this is annoying. This is very annoying. Very, very, very annoying. Heavy lifter robots. Alright. Cooling. Uh, let's break through is very important. I think the top will probably bust first. Probably. Because this they're, they're not giving this up. They're just not giving it up. Ah, oh, steam-powered extraction. More resources. Very good. Very good. Uh, energy cell capacity. That doesn't really help us with too much. Let's go ahead and get some more advanced generators next. 
Yeah, the... Oh. Wow, this is annoying. This is extremely annoying. Just go right ahead. Just kill them, please. For the love of God. I mean, I'm not playing as a legion. But if, if I were, and this was happening, I would probably end up crucifying everybody here. Because this is taking too long. Like, seriously. How are you holding? Look at that organization. That's insane. They're literally fighting to the last man. I guess that would kind of make sense, though, since uh, they're never going to exist again. But uh, you can just see here how retarded this is. This is so stupid. This shouldn't be happening. Yeah, I know I'm out of energy cells, but, you know, whatever, whatever, man. Energy cells are energy cells. Land auctions doing pretty well. A little bit ahead of time. Wow, we even have 35 uh, army XP now. I'm going to keep pushing, and you're going to keep dying. Yeah, that's ridiculous. They have literally no manpower left. Heading their way into the slave trade? Come on. Any day now. They just keep throwing them in. That makes no sense. Oh, they just don't take enough casualties. Down here, down here, down here. I'm not ending this episode until we kill them. I want to prove it to you that I can kill them using my robots. And the Great Cons. I've lost quite a few guys. I mean, literally one point. One point. How, how is this a 74% now? These enemies aren't dying. How are they not dying? How are they not dying? Let me know. Different attacks. You have no one over here. You know what? Screw that. Just come over here. That's... No. No. Yeah, come on. Come on. Take this tile. Take this tile. Good. Go back over there. I'm going to cut these guys off. Take that tile. And circle destroy. Because... In the end, I'm going to crucify all these people. That's what robots are good for. They don't have emotional feelings. They don't have feelings when you crucify them. And kill them off. There you go. That's all I needed to do. I'm sorry it took so long. But, cons, you're not getting anything out of me. You're going to have other opportunities to take people out. But that's all the time for that we have today. Um, I didn't plan on this video being 40 minutes long or more. But regardless, New Vegas is looking pretty thick. So, if you like the video... So Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below, it looks like the brain is getting destroyed, and I will see you all tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great, great day.